Welcome back to Airbrush Review SA in conjunction with Pelagans.com. Pelagans.com is bringing you the Brocock Concept Light all the way from England. Look at that. We're going to unbox this little beauty. It's the FAC model XR, which means it's a side lever cocking by Athlon. But anyway, let's show you what it, how it comes in the box. So once you get it and you open it up, you'll see it's nicely packaged. It's got a nice foam inside there to protect your gun. Uh, well, why don't you take this one out, let's do this first. You got a little bag full of goodies. So you got a single shot loader in there for the .22. So that's what we have. You got a little bag like this. If you open up this, you'll see you'll get a magazine and a full probe. Look at that. So just make sure whatever fitting you have, you must get a male nipple, whatever they call it, or a foster full, or however your side looks, or just connect it to your pipe. Yeah, you get your magazine, exactly the same as the Daystate ones, pretty nifty. It's just uh, got a little ball in, indent there. It doesn't have those little pins and magnets, so it's just got a little ball, so when it slides in, it clips. But yeah, nice magazine. Uh, let's go quickly through here. You got your official handbook of these guns. So basically they're just going to give you all the contents, what's in here, the safety and how to work it, how your regulator works. Oh yeah, by the way, it's got a humor regulator in it. Internal one, not the external one that you can see. So if you want to set it, you have to open up the gun and then set it. But generally leave it as stock standard as possible, which you'll be happy with with the accuracy. Like I said, cocking lever on the side, biathlon lever. Then it's got like a little showing you how to adjust your trigger the right way and then high power low power on that um, lever on the side there uh, you can put on a mega uh, obviously a silence in the front but look there parts diagram exploited view showing you of all the parts and so on on different models but yeah we've got the concept XR look at that all the parts and goodies there is the regulator number 79 but anyway, let's go check here. So you got your little seals. It's got breech seals here, two of them inside. And then obviously you're gonna get one for your full probe O-rings, two of them. You got extra ones. Then you got your warranty registration card. Fill it in when you get your gun so that you can say when you got it from there onwards, your warranty will run for two year warranty. There we go. Then obviously you've got your quality control sheet. So this thing goes through a quality controller and he will check if this gun is up to standard, Brocock standard, which is quite high. But anyway, once I pick up this gun, what am I feeling? I'm feeling that this metal housing that holds your action and everything inside here, which is then aluminium, it feels very, very sturdy and it feels like quality. So if I put it in my shoulder, feels really good um, it's got these picatinny rails on the sides and then also on the bottom so you can install a bipod whichever one you would like atlas accutac lights lasers whatever you like but anyway going forward it's got a dovetail rail on the top here so you can put on nice dovetail high mounts or whichever size you would like for whatever scope you're going to put on he has the side lever cocking it's very 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 smooth um, you can decock it that is quite a nice thing obviously he has your lever or your switch would they call it for your power so that will be low and that will be high but then we go look furthermore to the back you've got like this AR style butt pad so you can move it any length you would like you can even uh, install other ones if you would like but it's up to you you can change this gun like you want to even your grip you can change it to whichever style you want if you've got big hands you can put on that i think it's called the tactical ergo grip but this one that it comes with is quite nice it really fits in the hand but it it really feels sturdy and it feels well balanced and yeah if you have a look in the front here you've got a 12 uh, half inch UNF thread so you can put it on a silencer just to quiet down things it is a free floating barrel if you have a look there there's no barrel band holding it so you can get quite good accuracy out of this one because of the speeds that it shoots at it is perfect for the JSB 18 grains and the H&N 18.13 so we're going to shoot the 18.13s today at 50 meters 
and we'll show you those things are darn accurate. So I love those ones. So, but anyway, let's stop talking. Let's go fill up this gun. It's a 200 bar full. You get about 50 shots per full. Nice one. Um, and you can shoot it all the way from 200 bar to 100 bar. Please keep it in those lines, the green lines. I don't know if you can see, but look there. Keep it in those green lines just to be safe. If you're gonna charge it over that, you might damage your regulator or your other things on the inside to overcharging it. And if you shoot it below 100, you are definitely gonna hurt your regulator or your internals or your main hammer valve. So don't do that. But anyway, we're gonna put on a scope right now and then we'll see you down at the 50 meter range and we're going to shoot five shot groupings. So we put on a VTZ 4 to 16x42 SFIR. That's the one from Discovery. Uh, in the box you get a quite nice things in here. So let me just quickly show you. So you get a sunshade which I just screwed on now because of the sun coming in from the front so that the clarity of the picture that I'm going to take to you guys is going to be a bit better. Uh, you got yourself a parallax wheel that you can screw on if you need it, if you want it, doesn't matter. Obviously you get like a little throw lever inside the box here, like this, a little throw lever that you can put on your magnification here so it makes it easier to turn, which is a very nice nifty little tool to have. And obviously you've got a little cloth and then pictures like this inside there that you can put on 100 meters. You can use it as targets or you can just sight in your scope, whichever way you'd like to prefer. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what comes in this box. Quite nice. Um, very, very affordable scope and clarity that you can get out of the scope. It's quite neat. Um, yeah, so like I said on the top here, you've got your in, um, illuminated reticle, so it's green or red, and you can set the intensity of the colors on those reticles. And then, yeah, it's got um, uh, one click is equal to a quarter click MOA at 100 meters, or I mean 100 yards, because it's MOA. So, and then you've got your parallax wheel here on the side. But yeah, let's see how this scope looks downrange. We're going to do a five shot grouping with the Barracuda 18.13 downrange there. I'm just going to quickly load the magazine, show you how quickly it is. So it can only fit in from one side. So it can't fit from both sides, can only fit from one side. So it's pretty easy to load them up. Just push them in, turn it or index it to the next side, which is quite easy. Look at that. Just go ahead and put them in until the next one, until it's empty. What's nice about this magazine as well, it's got like a little red dot to indicate if it shows on the left hand side that you're closer to empty. So you'll see there, there's that little red dot. <coughs> While I'm winding it up now, you'll see it will start turning to the other side. But as soon as you're almost empty, it will come back this way around and it will show you it's close to empty or to its empty but anyway let's do five shot grouping downrange let's give it a go and give it a bash okay five shot grouping at 50 meters Just look at the wind right here, it's blowing, but 800. love how quiet this brocock is. 800. Seven. 800. Look at that. That is pretty spot on. Um, let's go have a look at a downrange, 50 meters with a 18.13 HNNs. See you in a downrange. So we downrange here. Even my granny can shoot better than that. But anyway, yeah, so 
I don't know what happened. I think it might be the wind. But if you can have a look, there was my aim point. So I had five shots here. So call it about an inch uh, grouping. Uh, you can tighten it up. Obviously, we're doing it in real world conditions. So if the wind's blowing, obviously they're going to blow the pellets around. But just to tell you one thing on those H&N 18.13 grains are really, really showing a really good grouping on all the guns we've been shooting. So if you don't have the JSB 18.13s, the H&Ns are exactly the same and they are very promising. So go try them out and you'll be happy about it. Just one thing about them, I wish they were in a 500 tin. They come in 200 counts in the tin. So H&N, make them 500, please. Please like, share and subscribe to my uh, Air Bros Review channel and come see us here at pelegans.com. If you guys are anywhere close here in South Africa, close to Benoni, come visit us, come see what we got in store, come get yourself a Concept XR. Uh, what else can I say? That gun proves it, it's really nice. Uh, if you like a tactical style looking gun, get yourself that one. Obviously when you put it on the silencer, it makes it very quiet, take it off, it is quite loud. Any PCP is like that, unless you have something that's very quiet shooting at a low speed. But yeah, for hunting and pesting around at 50 meters, perfect. You're going to take out your quarry easily. But yeah, so thank you for everything. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, cheers. Bye.